Hello, I'm John Windsor Cunningham. How to work with a difficult director. Oh my gosh, if you think that you've got a difficult director, if that's what you're thinking, rightly or wrongly, if that's what you're thinking, you've got a real problem. Because first of all, if they find out you're thinking that, that you have a problem with this director, they won't employ you again, their company won't employ you again. But a bigger problem than that is that if you feel the director is getting in the way of you developing your performance. Well, if you feel that, it sounds as though you're not going to be very good. So that's the big problem. You're not going to be able to give your performance. So there has to be a solution to this. There has to be. And there is, there is a fantastic solution. I'm going to come out with in a moment. It'll really surprise you probably. But first it helps a little, just a little. It's not essential, but it helps a little. If you remember what a director does. A director has worked on a production for weeks, often months, sometimes years before rehearsals start. They've had to negotiate with the author's agent, probably lawyers. They've had to attend publicity sponsorship meetings and book a production manager and a stage manager and, uh, oh gosh, the design team. They've had to arrange the best rehearsal rooms. There's so many things they've had to do. They've had problems with other actors that you may not know about. Just maybe having to recast a few days before rehearsal started because someone was ill. They've had to do all sorts of issues, all sorts of issues when they would like to have been looking at the script and they may not even like the play. Not entirely their fault. Just as actors accept jobs because we need jobs or we think they're going to be easier and they turn out not to be. Directors find that it's not an easy one for them. And anyway, the director's job is a nightmare. On top of this, they got their normal problems of life, of family and health and the car breaking down. And, and if on top of this mass of jobs they have to deal with, at the same time as developing the play, they feel that every time they talk about the history of the play or their concept of the play, you're wanting to just rehearse it. If they think that you think they're difficult, their nightmare gets worse. But if however much you try to understand the director's viewpoint, you still feel that they are getting in the way of you developing your performance. Then, when they ask you to do something which you find is difficult or doesn't seem to make sense for you or is wrong, what you do is you aim higher. You do whatever they say, whatever a director asks you to do, if there's no time to discuss it. Whatever they ask you to do, do it and do it better. Do it better than they could possibly have expected you to do. Aim higher. Do it well. Don't do it for them because they've asked you to do it and you've got to follow orders. Or if it is like following orders in the army and you don't like that, well, be a hero. Follow orders and do it better than they could possibly have expected. A real hero. A real hero. Really aim higher. There are lots of actors who, a who aim higher throughout rehearsals. I know many, in fact most of the main actors I've worked with will know their lines before rehearsals begin. I do a thing I'm not saying I'm any good as an actor, but um, I like to have my performance ready in advance of the first night. So six days before a play actually opens, I secretly write myself a little good luck card and the next day I go into rehearsals and I treat that rehearsal run as my first night. I get nervous, I plan that this is the big moment, this is what I've built up towards. Everything is fixed on giving this performance. Everything. It's just the director and the stage manager watching, but I'm doing my best for that day. So that by the time a play opens six days later, I've already been running for a week. I don't have first night nerves ever. I'm just aiming higher. Doesn't matter whether I'm any good or not, I'm aiming higher. So if you get asked to do anything difficult by a director, if you don't like them, if they're not being the buddy, the father figure, the mother figure that you wanted, aim higher, give them the best possible version of what they've asked for. They may then find they're wrong, say they're wrong, and ask you to do it differently. They may not, doesn't matter. What matters is that you're aiming higher. You're not worrying about what they ask you to do. 
They ask you to stand on your head. You don't want to stand on your head on this line. Stand on your head and do it fantastically well. Aim higher.